Back here at my favorite place, the Birmingham Zoo, and I am under great duress to introduce the next animal to you. It is an ambassador animal, which means it's one of those that leaves the compound, leaves the zoo, <laughs> and goes out and meets children and all sorts of folks. So, um, Allison, uh, I can't even look at you. <laughs> Allison, make me want to like this ambassador animal because at the moment I am not happy. <laughs> no problem. Very common reaction. Okay, good. Uh, this here is Peanut. He oh, is okay, a Madagascar hissing cockroach. It is pretty cute. All of our males get the uh, name Peanut, and all of our female Madagascar hissing cockroaches we call cotton candy. See, you all right. You're winning me over yeah, with the names. That's right. by design, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Why is this? Uh, why is Peanut so important as a bass ambassador animal? That is a great question. So Peanut is so important as an ambassador animal because most people have your reaction to uh -huh. cockroaches, where they go, "Ew, gross, not for me." Yeah. I'll say that was probably me too. Okay, but you're holding Peanut now, but so yeah, you're feeling good about I'm it. I'm holding him now. He doesn't have wings, so he won't fly away on me, which is very nice. Oh, good. Uh, but you can probably see a big close-up of his um, spiracles, those holes, those um, openings there on the side of his mm -hmm. body. That is actually how he hisses. Really? He's like yeah. a little organist right there, yeah, huh? Yeah, he is. So these guys are so incredibly important because they are detritivores. They're decomposers. They actually eat the fallen leaf litter in the tropical rainforest of Madagascar. And they keep the rainforest from suffocating under its own leaf litter. Well, then that's a pretty big job. I like what Peanut does for a living. Now, right? the, the hissing part, when mm -hmm. does that come in? They hiss when they are scared or threatened, so when they get eaten by something bigger than them, huh. or when they're courting. Sometimes when really? they're dating, they'll It's still a dating hiss. thing? It can be a dating thing. Huh. Yeah, you can see him just exploring my hand there with is, his long antenna. Isn't that interesting? It's either in a situation where they're about to die and be eaten, yep. or they're <laughs> uh, kind of attracted to another hissing right? cockroach. Huh. I've both high adrenaline situations, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dating, death, it's, you know, for some folks the same thing. All right, so you take uh, a Peanut out mm -hmm. into the public as an yeah. ambassador animal. How do you get children to want to touch that? Because most children's parents try to kill those. Well, right? not a hissing one, but just a cockroach. I know. Well, we don't try. If, if, a, if a kid or an adult really, really doesn't want to touch anything, we don't want to force them. Our main goal is to turn the ill disgust mm -hmm. reaction into, oh, okay, and then be able to walk calmly away while oh. not killing them. You are precious, <laughs> and I'm so glad you were the one introducing Peanut to us because, yeah, yeah that's going to be me. I'm going to be like, oh, okay. <laughs> Nobody got hurt, right? Right. <laughs> we'll be right back on the CBS 42 Morning News.